Class is in session, but this is not your average classroom. In fact, it's a boardroom at Rebecca Wanjiku's company headquarters. She's CEO at Fireside Group, an engineering services firm that happens to be the largest woman-owned enterprise in Safaricom's ecosystem. She's had her fair share of success growing her business from the ground up, from DSTV installations to complex solutions. Rebecca has made Fireside a respected name in the local technology fraternity, but believes in paying it forward. The reason these women are here. I didn't want to be the only one who is doing infrastructure for Safaricom. I wanted to help hold other women the way I did not have other people holding me because I swam in the dark for a long time. There are some decisions I made when I look back, those were stupid decisions, but I didn't know better. That's where Safaricom's Women in Business initiative comes in. There's already a lot we have done in terms of raising up uh, our, our women in management. But now the women who are out there who want to do business, how do we bring them more to begin to engage with us as a company? So that's where the whole initiative started from. And we said, I mean, 2.7% is not anything that we can be proud of. And we set ourselves an ambition that by 2020, we want to have hit uh, uh, whatever, uh, 10 10% and then I think by 2030 grew that number. The firm has already hit the 10% target and its efforts are paying off. <laughs> Safaricom has been spending more than 32 billion shillings annually to expand its infrastructure. Hence the push to get more women on board. Evelyn Wamboy Njora, CEO of Extra Dimensions Company Limited, has been in business with Safaricom for close to 20 years now as an events planner, but decided to take a leap to join the mentorship program and learn how she can diversify into technology. Because I did not want uh, to make mistakes, I reached out to, to Rebecca and I said, fine, I have experience in running a business and I know the general aspects of uh, you know how it should be done but then technically what do uh, so what does Safaricom require what are the expectations because they are very very uh, different from what I you know I was coming from Jamia Yassin CEO and founder of Nubli Technologies Limited started her IT business just two years ago and is now doing fiber installations for Safaricom. I had no idea or clue how to navigate the business space, more or less in IT, uh, given I'm a woman and also a Muslim woman as such. Uh, very few of us tend to go into the technology space. So I think I took the leap of faith, reached out to Rebecca for her to mentor me and guide me on how to grow my company to be as big as hers. The quest to net more women into the fold continues as Safaricom charts the path for other firms to follow suit.